Yo, the one, the only, Gene Alcantara, back again with another Fire Emblem Three Houses video. In the last one, we just pretty much uh, went through solving the issues that were happening between Hanneman and Manuela. Manuela felt some type of way about that L that she took with uh, the Death Knight. So she went to go chase after a gang that potentially uh, had their markings or something like that towards them but when she did look into them a little bit more it turns out they were just a random street gang and she was caught up in like a little situation where we had to pretty much break things out for her and fight a whole bunch of forces in order to make sure that she was properly rescued after that Hanneman kind of tore into her a little bit let her understand and realize that like we were the best professors that this gosh darn place got so she should better not freaking like uh, overstep her boundaries in order to prevent having other issues with other people in that particular environment. So yeah, she pretty much understood that like, yeah, she had to be a team player. She couldn't just fly off the handle anymore. She had to really stop trying to be a jerk to several other people and just like removing that particular haughty persona that she has. Now, other than that, let's uh, focus a little bit more on Claude here. See, so guess how uh, we're instructing him, and we have to make him focus on a particular level. This dude has the potential to do so many things. So, like, right now, we have him as, like, an A rank for bow, but we're going to make him do some more sword stuff. Because I really do want to see him succeed in that. I want to see him potentially turn into an assassin. I like the idea. Of him using guile and like stealth to get rid of enemies and all that, it's gonna be super freaking awesome. Uh, Lizzie Lawrence, right here, he could just like continue doing swordsman type stuff. Ralphie and the others are also having aptitudes to doing that sort of thing, although it would probably make more sense to teach like the people that are absolutely over eager to do that sort of stuff. And I know Alois themselves, they haven't really been in my classes that much, but they could uh, learn a thing or two about, like, faith. So I want them to learn a little bit more just doing classes completely Let's focused on faith. Sometime. This dude has got to learn how to heal people so Let's that way that if he sometime. ends up becoming a plus one to like all the other groups in like a reinforcement uh, bunker, he'd be able to like help out in that particular way. Yeah, same thing goes for Catherine right here. So I'm just going to make her I'm learn some more everything. faith type stuff. I want her to learn heal and then probably make her focus some, a little bit more on um, like swordsmanship and all that sort of thing. I mean, she already has an aptitude for swordsmanship, so I don't really necessarily need I'm to push her that far, me. but you know what I mean. Yeah. So, I was right. Just learning a little bit more face stuff. She has to continue yes, studying her Christian no, ship. She's got to read her Bible and understand Thank what it means me. to be a fellow Christian. All right, a little bit I'm more and angry. she'll be ready to start healing people with the power of Christ. Now, uh, let's just move on to someone else who's uh, absolutely over-enthusiastic about learning. Or uh, maybe I should focus on the old guard, depends. Because I know I haven't touched Shamir in a while when it comes to like learning and stuff. So uh, let me instruct her on better uses of how to understand and interpret that the faith a little bit better so she can get a better grasp on that. Okay. Technique never betrays. Mm. The faith is strong with this one. Gotta keep learning that faith because she has an aptitude for like not exactly learning that stuff. But if we could turn that into a neutral skill, that would be great. Just gotta focus a little again. bit more on that until she understands it. I don't want her to get like bad skills on that. So there's always like the. The chance of them learning a bad skill, they particularly try to learn a skill like that and it doesn't turn out that I well. I was really going. rolling the dice with them. Although I do have a high luck stat, so there shouldn't be much of an issue with that. That should be fine. I feel like I've grown a bunch. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. You're gonna get a growth spread at some point. You're gonna be freaking 6'5. You're gonna start lifting weights and shit. Yeah. It's gonna I'm be weird. It. Hell yeah, bro. 
Learning the way of the sword and the bow. Everything comes in flux and things are just naturally going to blow from that. So, uh, hmm. I think I should probably make Rafi learn the last skill. Hmm. Yeah, swordsmanship is always a go. Not really much here, but oh well, at least we tried. Gonna make them do a couple more things in the saw and I'll learn some more things. Mm. Alright, so their goals are more or less fixed right here. Having Alois and Catherine and all the others learn in faith. I want them to get that D rank so that way they'd be able to learn a little bit more and be able to heal people in case stuff goes left. As always. And then uh, the DLC kids, well most of them have already learned how to heal so having them focus on swordsmanship is a must at this rate. I want to create a team of swordsmen, see if it's actually possible. So, uh, yeah, we finna do that right now. Fucking, you can just begin the lecture eventually. I just gotta have them, uh, start learning different things other than, uh, having a good skill sets on that. Their skill support level is, like, A. So, the rank is already at, like, max. But, uh, I'm just gonna keep them there for now because I want, like, really good materials to come from their excavations. And only they can do that. Hmm... Uh, sure? Yeah. Have you do that. Alright, guys. Let me teach you about Trig. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good time. Hello, Professor. You're really on the move today. A lot to get done, I take it? Very busy. I'm happy to help. Uh, tell me, is there anything I could do to lighten your load a bit? You're already doing a lot, fam. I appreciate it. But, um... Mm. Oh, surely there must be something. Don't be shy about asking for help. Yeah. We're practically siblings after all. Cut from <laughs> the same cloth. Oh fuck, low battery. Hold on, let me just charge just this freaking switch so control. we should have no trouble getting along. Hell yeah. Um hmm. Huh? <laughs> Did I not mention that? How thoughtless. What an embarrassing gaff. My parents died when I was small. I came to live in the monastery. Oh, really? It was an aimless existence. But sometimes, a knight would pass by, wearing magnificent armor. That knight was Geralt. And the first time he laid eyes on me, he made me his squire. What was he thinking, huh? Yo, but he had an eye for things, though. That, that's pretty no, awesome. Kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. Oh. I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. It's not like that, though. A little nutty, old Gerald. There's no doubt about that. Quite a character. Yeah. All that was more than 30 years ago. How time flies. That's how it be. <laughs> Fucking 30 years ago. God damn. How long has he been out here? Oh, my God. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. You never asked him? Jesus Christ. Well, Gerald hardly seemed to age at all. In fact, over drinks he once drinks. told me oh. that... <laughs> Perhaps that's a story for another day. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna see. That's Gerald for you. One of a kind. I don't think there's anyone else quite like him. An absolute real one. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. Yeah, for sure. In a bite, just give me a holler. Sure, I'll help bro. however I can. Yeah, I like that. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. Yeah, but sure, so, thanks. If I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. Of course, fam. If anything happens, I'll just say the word. Hmm. Splendid. Gotta do more stuff like that more often. Hmm. On to the next day. Fucking paralogs are getting out of the way. Let's go talk. Hey, Professor. You're... What's poppin', Sherman? The students seem to like you. Yep, they do. A whole lot, actually. Uh... <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you're not modest about it. I like that. Gotta have pride in your children. Still, I can't deny that you've got skills. It's a little strange, to be completely honest. Really? I had my doubts, but... They were right to make you a professor. Hmm, thanks. I appreciate it, I guess. Uh. <laughs> oh? You're an odd one. 
Time to humble brag. What's it matter? Seems like it turned out fine for you. Uh-huh. I'll admit, it's unbelievable that you used to be a mercenary. Yeah, right? I was a merc before coming here, but I can't imagine pulling off your fancy tactician act. Well. I freeze up near royals and nobles. Aw, oh, it's okay. A lot of people deal with anxiety in their own way. You deal with a lot of nobles when you're a merc. I didn't mind putting my life on the line, but I never liked having to bow and scrape to our noble employers. Oh yeah, that's, that's us. what I like about being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. Hell yeah, way to disrespect <laughs> authority. I'm joking. <laughs> but the knights do make a good business partner. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't believe in the Church of Seros. It makes me a bit of an anomaly among the knights. Oh really? Rhea took me in, so I became a knight to repay my debt to her. Well. I may be a knight, but it still feels like I'm doing the same things I did as a merc. Who knows though? Maybe you and I will end up working together. I mean, as we're in the same group. Pretty tough crew. <sighs> I'm guessing you'd run circles around us though. Well, I'm interested to see where your path leads you. High speed stats, sis, as the only other way. Hmm. As long as she stays motivated, that's all I care about. Let's go to the next day. Ooh, a birthday. Yeah, yeah, let's let's have some tea. Why am I here? Because you need tea, fam. Let's chat. I think. Here, have some. Not bad. <laughs> Alright fam, I picked out some of the best ones. I even got some donuts right there if you're uh, hungry. I would have wanted some uh, Jersey burgers, but oh well. Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, how about this? Impressive. Okay. Uh, not out of the woods yet. One more. Uh, mm, yeah! Okay, he does. Alright, no pressure. Uh, third one. Uh, mm, uh, cool! Alright! I know it's important to take a break, but if you rest too long, your muscles wither. Yeah, 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 no, I, I, I dislike entropy the most. I am uh, very into the whole workout process, but let's uh, choose this option. Yes. Yeah! Fuck! Perfect tea time. Let's fucking go. Felix, I read you like a book. Let's do this. All right, uh, mm. Okay. Professor. Chat. Uh huh. Hot. Yes. Professor. Uh, idle comments. Uh, okay, that's enough. Having too much fun. Thanks for your hospitality. I hope you'll invite me again sometime. Yeah, yeah, sure, bro. I understand. <laughs> Have a good one. Ooh. Love the charismatic stat. I need to increase my uh, clout with the forces so they can follow me better. An excellent finish if I do. Skip it ahead right here. Of course, I'm gonna get some more smithing stones. I see. Need some G's. It's all making sense now. Yes, yeah, some more progress. I gotta find a way to raise the experience. I gotta get some more renown. Gotta get more clout. <laughs> Everyone's just learning sword stats. Everyone's experience either in E rank everything. or D or rarely B. But oh well. Just starting before. to learn grounder and all that. That's this fine. This will help keep me alive. It may not be like an absolute like far distance attack, but oh well, you get the point. Hmm. All right, let's uh. Yeah, I'd like to do some more parables. Let me see. Ooh, we got a lot to do. Uh. Hmm. With, let me just check out the marketplace for some stuff after doing some certifications, of course. Uh, I'm still able to, uh, like, level up and do several other tasks, even though I am, uh, currently clouded up. But, uh, yeah, let me just, uh, just take a seat back real quick and see what all the other characters are capable of. If I want to do Wyvern Knight type stuff, I have to get a little bit better at the stuff right here. This is a particular class that's just, uh... You know, full of like speed stats and whatnot. My speed stat is at 32. I also have those abilities right there. Those are uh, really good for someone of my ilk. I don't even think it's even pointed out in the particular rune. Now, I know Claude could potentially be a thief too, so that would be something that would probably want to push 
my particular chips in, but he could also do snipe type stuff. And, uh, you know, the fact that he can be, uh, that assassin class that I mentioned before is fucking awesome, bro. That's gonna be great. Although he could also, uh, focus his bowmanship on trying to do sniper type stuff too. So, uh, uh, that creates, a. Uh, a little bit of a, a gap right there, seeing as how uh, one of them has a predilection towards the class that they could do and the class that they want to do. Depends. Mm. All the other classmates that he has are able to do like thief type stuff just now, or also bounce back into being a hero. Of course, like being a hero allows you to do uh, like more strength particular type damage, but uh. Seeing as how I have the chance to make Lysithia a trickster, that's also a good uh, option that I don't want to pass up. I really do want to see her as a sword mistress at some point. That's going to be freaking awesome. Depends though on her particular skills though, because I know if she wanted to, she could potentially pass this exam. Hmm. Why not take the exam right now? I mean... Her speed is going to be good. She's going to be able to open any particular lock that she wants. She's going to have stealth. But is it worth it, though? Because mm. these are just, like, their own particular classes for those people. So, uh, I got to keep that in mind, more or less. Hmm. If I make her a cavalry knight, no. That would be a bad idea right now. Hmm. I know, like, Lysithia has the chance to do stuff like that, but mm, if I see her like that, she's going to get her stats, like, clouded up to 156. That's going to be a lot of stats to, like, increase her stuff by. Hmm. That's going to be a lot to, like, mm, it might be a good idea to, like, make her in that particular way. Hmm. Because seeing her, like, level up and stuff to, like, a, uh, mortal savant is not going to be very good, low-key. Like, yeah, I understand that, like, she's going to be able to have a couple more, um, attack and defense stats. But, like, yeah, it's not going to, like, you know, fix more or less the problem that's, like, inherent with her character. And the problem that's inherent with the character at this rate is just, like, having such a low speed stat... I don't want characters that have, like, low speed in my particular group. So I want to fix that. Seeing what they have, more or less. Because mm. I know, like, freaking Violet itself has, like, um, 30 or so health. Uh, freaking speed. But, like, all the other characters, like, have to catch up to that in order to do, like, decent damage to enemies, let's be honest. So, um, most of them have already taken, like, the exam to be, like, thieves and whatnot, but, like, being able to do that particular damage is gonna be great. So, uh, mm, let's see, uh, other, uh, paralogs that we can do. I know there's one right here that talks about being the sword and shield of Seros. That's, uh, something. Yeah, why not do that? Mm, sounds fun. Let me just save here real quick in order to... Make sure there's like a backlog of like stuff that I can do Thank in so case much. people try to like freaking say like, oh my goodness, uh, where's the proof? And I'm like, <laughs> the proof is right there in the and pudding. That is our situation. Uh huh. But with so few knights, we'll surely. Mmm, I want to try to avoid that. Ah, professor, excellent timing. I am just everywhere where they need me to be. Why not? Alois, you're not going to suggest we send students, are you? Uh, well, uh, tremble before us. We are the great navy of Almira. Resist, and we'll burn this town to the ground. <laughs> the Almira Navy. This is going to be tougher than I expected. Huh? Sure, those look like Almira ships, but I guarantee you they're just common pirates. They're obviously bluffing. Seems to be working on the merchants. Shall we? It's the knights! Please save us! We'll reward you handsomely! So, uh, one thing kind of like led to another. Our shops. Please don't let them into town. We've got you. Leave it to the knights of Seros. 
So, uh, long story short, like, uh, my students ended up getting wrapped around this particular issue. They revolved around, uh, freaking Alois and, uh, Shamir. So, uh, yeah, now we gotta handle their dirty work and realize the type of, like, normal incidents that these people be going into when we're just busy out there fucking trying to solve our particular, like, friendship and family dramas with between each other. We gotta take that one particular source right there that's part of, like, the Amara Navy. So I wanna try to, like, fucking do them in before everyone else ends up, like, getting seriously injured or even worse. So now that I'm, like, enlightened, I'd be able to probably take more of a beating than usual. So I'm gonna have the characters probably just, like, be drawn in and do stuff to my character instead of, like, dealing with stuff regarding another character. Because they're trying to, like, look for the weakest link, and they see Shamir as that particular link, so I want to try to check with them before it's even over. Cool. She's gonna get hurt. Yeah, what he Each said. A chance to grow. Everything's like 63% crit damage. I love being able to do so much powerful damage with Byleth. Like, the name? fucking thing is that, like, a lot of these other characters are not used to, like, dealing with multiple foes in the particular way that Byleth is. So I gotta fucking, like, be careful with that particular thing. Because they're gonna, like, uh, deal damage towards, like, my particular character, Ready, then I gotta, like, time. move everyone. So that way they don't get as hurt, and that all the freaking pressure this. gets put onto by Because the thing is, like, he's pretty much like a super soldier in this case, at this point. And uh, all these yeah, soldiers too. being able to do, like, a lot of damage to... Them is not necessarily good, so uh, I want to make sure that, like, all these other characters get uh, taken care of before they start getting into war. Yeah. Oof, that hurts. And they weren't even like carrying a particular horse or anything like that, so you did double damage for all that. I stand ready. My goodness. Let's That's a powerful it. thing to have, being able to heal the character from there. I mean, they're not doing anything Apologies. wrong, but, like, they'd be able to, like, freaking, you know, harm those particular soldiers from far away. Which is always a good thing. Hmm. Better if we hit him from here. That's gonna hurt a whole lot. Maybe if I move him, like, a little bit farther away. Here, let me, like, hit him from, like... A bit farther away. There we go. Perpendicular. They're not even gonna see it coming. It's it is what it is. Fucking just like, oof. It's gonna kill. Ooh. Thank God, because if that like fucking missed, I would have been in trouble. Fucking all right. Now this guy gets to fucking hit these people. I see him do some powerful damage. Come on, fucking merc them. Ooh. That's gonna hurt a lot. It's not much, but it's something, I guess. Oh, he's gonna hurt a whole lot more, so I better fucking get people to check court this dude before things get worse. Hmm. I don't necessarily have somebody to, like, freaking just, like, you know, pull up to that guy, but if I can just move one of the other characters, maybe use warp or something like that, get close to use warp, that would be fine. Ready and willing. I don't think I have a warp available for this dude. Let's see how it goes! A lot more reinforcements, oh my goodness. They just have a, a cavalcade of these people here, that's a little weird. Yeah. No. You're not gonna fucking hit by like that. No, He's just he's gonna fuck crit you. Ooh, that hurts. You fought well. That's pretty much par for the course for his ilk. No, you're not gonna hit him in that particular way, and he's gonna get health off of you dying. Each battle, a chance to grow. Y'all gotta fucking chill. They keep going for it, oh my goodness. Ugh. 
Fucking 87, my goodness. That. All of these, like, powerful crit blows are, like, all over the place. Try not to make it a habit, I guess. I'm gonna break my sword at this rate. I gotta be careful with these people. Should I have helped that? They keep trying to attack me in this particular way. I mean, at least, like, the battalion ends up getting leveled up, but oh well. Oh no. Hey. At least that worked out. You can't compete with me. You gotta be more careful with his skill, bro. Oof. You're not hitting him. He's enlightened, bro. It's like part of his, like, shtick. You don't hit him. I don't know why. It's just like an unwritten rule that just, like, happens. You don't attack this dude. Aw, oh, fuck. The sword broke. Yeah, we gotta fucking check out this dude now. Quickly, before the fucking Sword of Seros thing wears off. Mm, there's a lot of skills that he can learn here. If I fucking push him forward, then everyone else is gonna have to push, like, to the back and all that. Uh, better he, like, fucking deals with these people now. Oh, let me see. Should I move him in that particular way or move him somewhere else? Hold on. Huh. Alright, because there's a lot that goes into this sort of thing. Might as well fight here. Ooh. Ow! How did he manage to hit me? Oh well, shout out to you for doing that, but now yeah. I gotta fucking hit you with the Jedi double tap. That is that. You're not fucking getting past me, buddy. I'ma raise that S strat till it's like S plus or something. Ooh. Your damage is like fucking barely a blip to me. I'm just gonna hit you with some more training swords that are available. Oof. The stuff that I can do with these. Try to keep up. What's what's the fact that he's hitting me with a 30% move. Oof. I mean, you know, stranger things have happened. I'm gonna just ignore him at that point. Things are like omega bad. I gotta fucking get closer to that particular knife. Watch and learn. I kind of forgot to like put on the um, orb of like transgression or whatever the freaking uh, <laughs> DLC the weapon was the shops. Swipe anything that's not nailed down that's oh. not bueno we gotta if do something about that town, we won't even be able to pay the knights their reward that's super not good yeah yeah we gotta do something about that hold up <coughs> more people want to die oh well Dictable. Not happening, buddy. No hesitation. Y'all gotta that. chill. If you see Byleth in that particular way, y'all gotta run away from him. You gotta be like earthbound. You gotta like fucking understand like you're in over your head and you gotta chill. <sighs> Ow. Well, I mean, then there's those fucking soldiers that are like suicidally overconfident. But the fact That's that I can still cool. like hold my own the is fine. We have to beat them quick. Yeah, fam, hold on. Let me just fucking get rid of the people in front of me. Uh, I guess I'll take down this particular soldiers then. Because uh, those guys are going to be really annoying. Better I take them down here than somewhere else. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Me, okay? Oh, it's a print. Let's go. Ooh. Good shit, 108. The sweet code and the stars of destiny are gonna be fucking Nicely smiling done. upon you, buddy. Mm. He gets to attack from here. It's a lot of damage still. Might as well fucking hit him with something. Ouch. It's 27 damage. Oh god. Fucking someone else tries to attack him from here. He's gonna be fucking over and done with. Although I do know that it's better to like have Leone fucking like defend people and stuff. Although uh, all the other damage is gonna be done from like other places and whatnot, so it's better to have Leone just out there or like uh, Lysithia out there for now before anything gets particularly worse. I don't want the worst of the worst happening to them, so I want to make sure that they're all safe and whatnot. Let's press the issue in this particular instance. Gonna wait right here. Gonna have uh, Leonie probably make uh, Lawrence move a little bit faster. Gonna attack again to just like get rid of this particular fool right here. 
better to attack this particular way than some other way. Okay, okay, let me see if there's any uh, moves I can fucking kill. All right, right here. Ooh, thank God. You're outclassed. Magic it is a powerful thing. People got to stop fucking taking that as a joke. It's a legit, serious compulsion that people have. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's move uh, some of the other characters around this particular area so that way they'd be able to heal them. And also rally them to do like other amazing things. And all the other characters just like chill out right here on like the backside. I don't like having uh, multiple reinforcements in one particular way. So I'm just gonna have them uh, defend like the south side entirely. You know, they say south side, south side. They are going to just like completely keep that area under lock. Same thing with Byleth in this area. He's going to be more than enough to particularly block that thing. I know that there's a way to, like, completely skip all these people and just, like, deal with, like, the main enemy, so to speak, in this particular map. Although there are no main enemies. There's just Byleth, his anger, and a whole bunch of other knights that want to try to do something to that particular city. And I want to try to avoid that. To keep it true, a lot of these freaking enemies need to move right now. I know Byleth is going to be able to just quickly cut a swath through them. It's not necessarily the right thing to do, seeing as how he's uh, bunched up between a rock and a hard place. He's going to have to make uh, an executive decision. Oof. Oh, he didn't get health back from that. Oh, well. It's something, I guess. Oh, it's the enemy's turn now. What are they going to do exactly? Oh, they're just gonna summon reinforcements. That's uh, not cool. I gotta defeat that particular guy right there with a little emblem medallion that's gonna be fucking fine. But it was a chance. It's a miss. Good shit. Okay, if I defeat him fast enough, this would all go to a particular end. I'm trying to get to that point. They want people just like causing needless suffering for nothing and all that. Uh, oof. Good shit. There we go. Without certainty, just gonna kill this man. As expected. Fucking, I gotta get stronger, man. And the only way I can do that is if I just like push through this particular like bad guy that's causing problems for us. This is our chance. Oh no. Well, at least he's using a fucking, like, attack like that, because that way then he's gonna have to make me waste a turn trying to cut him in half before trying to do anything extra. So, uh, there's that. Dude, I guess I'm gonna have to just take down this particular dude right here. But then, seeing as how everything else is at, like, is it worth it at this point? Because I know, like, I could do that, but then, like, I would probably have to, like, change weapons and whatnot. But having that particular weapon available to me would make it easier, so like, hmm. I mean, I do want to take them down, and I understand that like, what I have that's available to me is going to be great, because I have the advantage. But do I really want to take them down, like, in that particular way? Because I know like, all the other characters have to like, gain proper experience too, and I feel like I'm gaining like, way too much experience for what I'm supposed to do like, right now. Uh, but I guess I suppose it's like a good particular way to uh, reach out to like where I'm going right now. So if I just like stay in this particular position, I guess something from the convoy, I'd be able to be a little bit more ready for like any particular problems that like come in my particular way. So uh, yeah, good idea to use that particular vulnerary and just chill. Have all the other characters just like move south. Because uh, anything that's happening like north side is honestly like a problem that we can all like fix. At this rate, all my other characters are properly ready. We should be okay when it comes to like dealing with any uh, extra judicious problems that comes with like uh, ambush teams or any other support groups that the enemy has that's gonna be able to cause a serious dent in our uh, conquest i don't want that to happen i want to make sure that like all the other conquests that we have is going to be absolutely peachy keen they're going to move that particular character that way 
And then we're just gonna pretty much let all the other characters uh, come to roost in that way. Leone and the others are gonna move to take up a defensive position right there in front of the town square because I don't want the town square coming to any harm. That's most certainly not gonna happen as long as I move like uh, Ignatz and all the other characters like forward. Because I don't want like anything happening like south of the particular border and I gotta make sure that like everyone else is absolutely safe. But we're gonna just end the turn from here. I wonder what they're gonna do now. Oof. There's no telling what the fuck these fucking people have planned or whatnot. Ooh, they're plotting. Let's get it. Ow. Nah. Psych, bro. Each battle, a chance you to fucking, grow. like, decided to just move in that particular way? Well, I had plans for you. Really big sorry. Let's Didn't go. mean to have it happen that way, but oh well. Ooh, okay. What's up? Nope. The complete miss. You have no chance, fam. The fact that they could just move that quickly is a little infuriating, I'm gonna be honest with you. Fucking gotta move them. Oh no, they're in that particular skill set too. I gotta do something about that particular build, cause they are gonna fucking wreck havoc unless we just do something in order to move all the other characters and wreck shit there. Mm. The other one's gonna fucking hurt even more. Really wishing that like the other characters could just like pull shit, but oh well. Here we are again. Under attack. We have to move quickly. Hell yeah. Stay focused. Fucking, I'm in a rock and a hard place right now. I gotta fucking just like keep fighting the characters that are like right in front of me. So I guess I'm just gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take him down with a training sword. One thing I can do at this rate. <sighs> Stuff you could do with training swords, bro, I tell you. I gotta get rid of that particular knight right there. If I could just pull up to him, that would be fucking fantastic. If I fucking reset, then it's only gonna put him in a bad position. Oh well. I'll probably just like move myself to like right over here. The town is under Alright, bro. You are in like some really deep shit right now. Just skipped ahead to like uh get rid of all the other uh, absolutely extra shenanigans that would have came with having that particular battle. But right now we are going to do what we must and uh pick Shut off the enemy from far away. So uh yeah, we're gonna do the exact thing that we need to do. Got rid of the fucking pirate captain with a bunch of bows. We are absolutely fucking done with this particular instance. Ugh, what a pain that guy was. If you're going to pose as an Almiron, at least fight like one. Well, he said. Well, that's over with. They were a lot more trouble than I expected. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here's your reward. Hey. Please take it. Okay. Ah, lots more stuff. I'm just move that right there. Ooh, uh, yeah, I'm totally gonna, like, uh, have that in my convoy in a bit. Just, uh, not gonna take that, like, right now, because, you know, I'm a little over-encumbered right now. Just gonna move something else to the convoy, so that way I have it. Yep, sold and shield of Saros in under five turns. We got that shit, baby. Everything is absolutely peachy keen. We are Gucci for now. Let us go see some of the other uh, cutscenes that are available. Gonna save right here as a precaution, because I know that everything has to be absolutely according to schedule. Good gracious, I didn't expect it to become such a large scale battle. I know, right? It seems they caused the merchants unnecessary confusion by disguising themselves as Almirans. That's annoying. Uh, we taught the pirates a lesson, though. That should calm them down a bit. <laughs> For sure. I know this was more than you signed up for, but you really saved us. Ah, It's no biggie. Thanks for your help. This can't be how you were expecting your day to go. Patient and understanding. Just like Captain Gerald. We owe you a token of our appreciation, I think. Take the reward from the Merchants Association. Share it with your students if you like. Oh, I think I will. Sure. Don't mind if I do. Take it. We'll collect our reward from the Eastern Church. Okay. Besides, Alois could never keep it for himself. <laughs> of course not. We knights serve as the sword and shield of Saint Saros herself. So noble. We pride ourselves on our integrity. Yeah. We reject all rewards that are not perfectly legitimate. <laughs> In other words, he's a coward who would feel guilty and lose sleep over it. Whoa. Hm. 
It's not really like that, but I would say he's That's more of a... also one of his many merits. <laughs> Shamir, you don't mince words. Though it does seem like you've learned how to show a little respect. <laughs> Must have learned that from you. Well, I mean, each one teaches. I don't one. remember teaching you that. Anyway, Professor, keep the compensation. I'd say you've earned it. Yeah. Those merchants really needed your help. For all the buying and selling they do, they're not so good at trading blows. I did a whole lot of freaking punching and kicking, so like I'm gonna just ignore that pun. You get it? Trading blows? They <laughs> and merchants? They? Oh, forget it. No, no, I we understand. Have to prepare for our next mission. Until next time, Professor. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Y'all have a good one. I'm just gonna fucking just sit, lay down, and just uh, rest my weary bones over what the fuck happened. Remember that the bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you.